school mascot. Lisa needed a job to pay for a car. She needed a car so she could get to school and other places more easily. Lisa saw an ad looking for a school mascot. It was paying $12 an hour, which was a lot for a high school student. She went to the tryouts. The interviewer asked Lisa why she wanted the job and why she thought she would be a good fit. Lisa said that she was very proud of being a tiger and would love to get other students excited about the school's sports teams. Lisa found out that she got the job. Her first day of work would be at the football game tonight. When she got to the football field, she put on her costume and her tiger head. It was smelly and hot inside. She kept thinking about how she needed a car. Then, she overheard someone say that it would suck to wear the tiger costume. Lisa felt bad about the job. Lisa's high school football team won. The crowd got up from their seats and cheered. A lot of people wanted to take a picture with the tiger. Lisa spent an hour just taking pictures. After the day was over, Lisa thought about how much money she made. It was the only thing keeping her going. First day as a tutor. Bethany decided that she would spend all the summer earning money as a tutor. She put up flyers around elementary schools in her neighborhood. She was offering lessons in Spanish, French, and Italian. Bethany grew up traveling the world, so she knew how to speak a lot of languages. She would charge her customers $25 per hour. Someone called Bethany. It was a girl asking for lessons in Italian. Bethany drove down to the girl's house on Saturday. The student lived in a huge mansion. Bethany went inside the house and introduced herself. I'm Megan, the girl said. Bethany first started teaching her the basics, like how to introduce yourself and saying thank you. Megan had a hard time pronouncing the words. Bethany repeated them until she could say them correctly. Megan started to get upset and blamed Bethany for teaching her incorrectly. Bethany was insulted. She had been speaking and writing in Italian since she was four years old. Megan, why don't you take a short break and come back to this? Bethany suggested. Hopefully that would calm her down. Why don't you take a long break and get out of here? Megan said. Bethany left her house, she didn't need to take insults from a teenager. Moving Schools Catherine was moving schools, because she was being bullied at her old school. She liked the teachers, her classes, and her friends at her old school, but the bullying was so bad. The girls would call her mean names, trip her, and embarrass her in front of other classmates. They bullied her because she was an easy target. Catherine wore a hearing aid as she was disabled. Catherine's new school was a private Christian school. She had to wear a uniform and pray between classes. Catherine was okay with praying, but she didn't like the uniform. She always liked expressing herself with clothes. Now, she could only wear the clothes she wanted on the weekends. Although there were no bullies, her classmates were hard to get along with. Catherine felt like her personality was so different from theirs. Her classmates were very studious, quiet, and kind of boring. First time at Disneyland. Disneyland is an iconic place. There are only a few Disney resorts in the world. There is one in California, Florida, Japan, France, and Hong Kong. The one in Florida was the largest. Kids, teens, and adults all like Disneyland. There is something at Disneyland for everyone, which is like any other amusement park. Sunny had never been to Disneyland. She remembered when everyone was talking about Disneyland in her second grade. They were talking about the rides, fireworks, and scenery there. Sunny felt so left out of the conversation. Her parents never took her because it was too expensive. One time, her friend invited her to go, but Sunny did not want to spend so much money at one time. 
Now Sonny was 18 and had a job as a cashier. She wasn't making a lot, but she saved just over $800 in her bank account. Sonny invited her closest friends to go to Disneyland with her. They went on a Thursday, so the lines were shorter. Sonny immediately fell in love with Disneyland. It was a dream that came true. It was everything her friends said it would be. Sonny went on almost all the rides and took pictures with all the Disney mascots. At the end of the day, she and her friends watched the fireworks. An interrupted wedding. Frances and Ryan were getting married. They dated for five years before Ryan proposed. They were both artists who enjoyed peace and quiet. They wanted a simple wedding with their closest friends and family. They decided to have their wedding in the backyard of Ryan's house. Frances did not want to spend too much money on a dress, so she made her own. Ryan felt the same way and borrowed his dad's suit. Although their wedding wasn't perfect, Frances and Ryan loved each other. The minister asked Frances if she would take Ryan as her husband. Frances said I do. The minister then asked Ryan if he would take Frances as his wife. Before he could say yes, someone screamed no. Ryan and Frances looked to the audience. It was Ryan's ex-girlfriend, Karen. Ryan demanded her to be taken out. Ryan's brothers carried Karen out, but Karen bit their arms. She ran up to Frances and ripped her dress. Frances pushed Karen. Ryan told Karen that she needed to leave. Karen wouldn't leave until Ryan called the police. Other than Karen interrupting, the wedding was perfect. Ryan and Frances knew they were going to be together forever.